What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a slightly different offering today. Today we're going to play some Artifact, the new Valve card game that's based on Dota. Also created by Richard Garfield, worth noting. So, um, get your, uh, get your sober scrobers and your bobers ready. And, uh, and, uh, so here I'm going to actually explain. Do you have to know a bunch of crap about Dota to play this? No. No, you do not. I don't know anything about Dota. Hunter is trying to tell me something in the background. You're correct. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna go through like I'm gonna I'm gonna play a game, and I'll probably just play it against the computer for now, and uh, I'll go through how to play. All right. So we have a couple of. Oh God, there's a lot going on, right? There's a lot going on. Can I go through the tutorial again? Actually, maybe they'll let me do that, because I want to show people how to play. Solo play, maybe? I don't know, I'm not sure. So you're saying things like play Teemo, and I don't understand League of Legends, so... Your, your League of Legends references are lost on me. Alright, my deck, I'm gonna choose... I actually don't know. These are your, So these are your heroes. You get five heroes per deck, right? And all the things I have are given to me by... Um, I just, I won them all, so. I won them like I, they, you win them if you play the thing. But you can filter by color, so we'll play the black-green deck. That will be our deck, and they will play, I don't know, I'll pick something. Upkeep Killer, I don't know what that is. But we'll play that as well. And then we play. So this is these are our heroes. And obviously it's like, you know, it's it's a card game in the sense that like once you know all of the things. I'm just gonna lower this to like 20%, because that's real loud. Watching you die will be a delight. Okay. Alright, so this this is your hero, and this is what's known as a creep, which is otherwise just basically a creature, right? Um I don't actually know how creeps populate, though. How, like... So, one th one interesting thing about the game is that it tells you how much... This is your health. Each tower has 40 health, and there are three different screens. All right? So, you have 40 health here, 40 health here, and 40 health here. You go... F this is where you start. You do all your things. You build, and then you attack, and then you go to the next one. And then you build, and you attack, and then you go to the next remaining. one. I have 15 seconds, so they're yelling at me. Um, you can only cast things in your lane that you have the color of. I have a green hero here, so I can only play. Five yeah, that's fine. Remaining. Three. Okay. Two. That's that's really pressuring. Um, you have a green hero here, so you can only play green cards in that lane. You have a black hero here, so you can only play black cards in this lane. The negative eleven is telling you how much damage this card's going to take. These are like predictive combats, like it's it's predictive damage basically. So this has two attack and three health. So it's going to deal two here, so this is going to get negative two and survive. This is going to get negative five and die because this guy is five. This is predicting that this will die. As as of right now, if nothing happens. Um, we only have three mana, so we can't cast any of the fours or the fives. We can deal two to something. Doesn't really do much. 15 seconds remaining. Um, before the action phase, there's a 50% chance to get Bounty Hunter plus four attack this round. Uh, that that did happen. You can see it because it's uh, plus four. So it's five seconds 11. remaining. I, so I can't play anything here. So I'm just going to pass. They did play something. They played deal two damage. Deal two piercing damage to the enemy enemy tower. The enemy tower before the action phase. So that's like at the beginning of the turn. So at, there's a certain place where I can look at the turn steps. Anyway, we can just pass here. We have nothing to do. We can play deal two to an enemy unit. But this guy's going to die. This guy won't die. And this guy's just going to... They're just going to bounce off each other. So, I will pass again. Choose a unit in another lane. Move a random allied black hero. Oh, they just moved their... Okay. Well, that's fascinating. So, again, still nothing, so I'm just going to pass again. The goal is to reduce the towers to from 40 to 0. You have to... The first player to reduce two towers from 40 to 0 wins... Or if you if you defeat any tower, it becomes a tower with 80 health, and you can deal um, 
80 damage to one tower, and then you win that way. Let me actually change my game to artifact. So, uh, again, like we have a green hero, but we have we know we have nothing we can cast here. So, this is a surge ability, or it's not it's not an ability. It's not a surge ability. It's an activated ability called surge. Uh, you can move another ally to another lane, and it, it you can activate it every two turns. Two is the cooldown period. So, I didn't realize that was over. At the end of each round, so a round is like. Actions and attacks in lane, actions and attacks in lane, action and attacks in lane. Um, and then, then the round is over. So then you get to you get to buy things from a store, which is just equipment, basically. And you get to play, you get to place a hero somewhere. So these guys both have I'm probably gonna put it here. Uh this this lane has two heroes, so I'd like to also have two heroes here. And then you have these creeps over here, but I'm not sure where they go or how they determine where they go. What is the name of the flying little key? I don't know. I don't know what their name is, but they're actually great. And I believe you draw two cards a turn. So we have only green heroes here, so we can only cast green things. However, modify unit you know, plus three retaliate. I don't actually know what retaliate is. I haven't experienced that yet. Whenever attacked during combat, when I, when attacked during a battle, even outside the combat phase, deal this much extra damage to the attackers. Okay, that's actually interesting. Sure, Iron Sammy. Sorry about that, buddy. Um, 15 seconds well, that's remaining. Unfortunate. Modify unit you know, with plus three retaliate or modify Savage Wolf. So this is just a Savage Wolf. It's a 3 3 for four. Uh, he gets plus one health and plus two attack after the combat Five phase. Five seconds remaining. I don't think we really need three, him here. Three, two, one. There's a lot of, like, things to do. There's a lot going on in the game. So these are improvement cards, they're basically enchantments. Uh, you can play them if you so you have a black hero in this lane so you can play a black card if it's an improvement but you can put it in any lane 15 seconds and this says remaining. activate one deal four piercing damage to the enemy tower may only be used if there are no unblocked enemies so if all your guys are blocked you can deal five yeah I'm just gonna pass five seconds though. remaining So here we have a black hero, so all of our black cards are online. Uh, this guy will die. This guy will not die. Still got the plus four, even though it's only 25%. Seems... seem. Oh, it's 50%, which makes sense. Seems pretty good. Two coin flips. Deal four damage to any unit in any lane. Give a hero a plus ten bounty until it dies. I don't know what bounty is. The amount of gold awarded if to the opponent when this unit dies. Oh, interesting. So I could use this on their guy to get an extra 10 gold at the end of this. Um, even if we shoot this guy, it doesn't do anything. So we could deal four to him, but it doesn't do much. See, I'd much rather kill this guy. Before the action phase, they'll two piercing damage to a random enemy neighbor of them. Yeah, we're just going to kill... I'm going to kill that because I want to deal the 11 to the face. And because this is going to die... Oh, we don't have a, we don't have a black hero, though. I was going to say we want to give the 10 bounty to this. We want to track this because then we'd get 10 extra gold after this. Uh... Probably just going to play wolf. Here. Something in it. I guess we'll pass. So then there's a shopping phase where you can pick up sweet things. Wow. I have not seen this yet. Uh, equipped here has plus eight attack and plus four siege. Uh, when blocked during the combat phase, in addition to battle damage to the blocked unit, also so it deals four damage to the enemy tower as well. Uh, condemn each unit equipped. Condemn each unit equipped hero deals battle damage too. That's pretty insane. Remaining. Condemn is just like a destroy. Uh, equipped hero has plus four health and negative three negative three bounty. Eh. Five seconds remaining. 
Three, two, one. That's fine, whatever. And we can just save this for more expensive stuff if we want to. Um, definitely putting you here and you here. I don't know how, like, I still don't know how they decide what gets creeps. Like, where the creeps go. And I also don't know how they decide. I, have you right I also don't understand, like, the arrows. Like, the arrow is pointing this way, and it doesn't really mean anything. I don't know. It's very, there's some things that are not, um... Oh, the negative bounty seems great because you're putting it on your guy. Okay. So, lots of trades happening here. All their guys die, so I'm just going to pass. I don't really need to play anything here. Equipped hero has plus eight health. Well, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, deal team machine. Yeah, so we're going to deal four. It's going to, they're going to have seven. Uh, plus two attack after an allied neighbor dies. None of our guys are dying. How's our other lane? This lane, probably we'll save it for that lane. I'd rather have a guy in there than here. Um, if there's an allied green hero in this lane, allies have to be destroyed with one health when they would die. I feel no. And yeah, all right. Just gonna pass here. So they triggered this, which is deal two percent damage to the enemy tower before the action phase. So he took two. This also does one damage to each enemy before the action phase. Piercing just means that it goes through armor. So if you have armor, it's not gonna stop that. It pierces it basically. So the arrows decide which way, sure, but like this guy had an arrow that was going to the left and it still had the it still had the 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 attack arrow going down. So what does that mean? Fifteen seconds remaining. Uh, modify unit plus three retaliate. Well, we don't have a black hair and the only thing we can play is iron ion shell here, so I'm just gonna Five right, seconds take it easy. remaining. Do you the enemy before the act? Oh, that's actually that's actually seems very good. What is rapid deployment? Uh, I don't. I don't know. You gotta. You're not gonna tell me. I don't know. I don't know. All right. I'm just, I mean, I'm still gonna just pass. Move another ally to another lane. Do we want to do that? Oh, maybe. Uh, let's move this guy. Oh, acti active lane. Oh, and the only in the active lane. Okay. Okay, well, that changes things. I don't want to move anyone here. 15 seconds remaining. We're going to be fun, friends, bitch. Deal four damage to the enemy tower may only be used if there are no unblocked units. But there were unblocked units. These are unblocked. So I have one left to deal two damage to anything. Yeah, I'm fine like this. All right, 24 seems good. Equipped heroes have plus eight health. That seems great. Equipped heroes plus two attack. That seems fine. This also seems better now that I realized what it does. And I'll just save the 10. And being able to put three extra cards in your hand that keep your heroes alive is pretty strong. Savage Wolf, and 
yeah. Revtail Convoy. It has X, plus X attack where X is equal to half your gold. So, f 520? That thing seems insane. How is this rare? Oh, yeah, that's rare. Wow, that's nuts. See, that's good to know. I did not know that was in the deck. Um, definitely playing f 15 seconds remaining. Four two, huh? Plus four health and negative three bounty. Plus eight health. You're not under any threat, so I guess we'll just attack like this. A suitable treatment. There's so much going on though. Like, look at this. This card has like this. This modifies you. This modifies you. These are your three things. Like, there's so much going on. Deal one piercing damage to enemies' neighbors after you play a blue spell. And a neighbor is this, this, or this. Any any of the three cards in front of a card. Equipped heroes plus four health, negative two armor. The unit blocking equipped heroes, negative two armor. And this is going to deal what? One piercing damage? All right, so you'd survive. I'm ready to make the Legion pay. Can someone explain why this hero ha is able to attack my hero and not just my face? I don't actually know how that works, to be quite honest. I guess we're just passing. Yeah, negative two every turn is pretty good. So, condemn a creep. I don't care about your one threes. Two damage to something. That does kill this. Yeah, we'll do that. Well, that is unfortunate. So I'll just kill you the normal way, I guess. Condemn another ally and draw a card. If that ally has six or more attack, draw an extra card. So I can actually condemn this guy and draw a card. Do I want to get rid of a 2 2? It doesn't really do much. For the action base, let's do regenerate for your play board. Maybe. 15 seconds remaining. This warms my heart. In life, you are nothing. In death, you find purpose. That seems fine. 19. Oh, man. Equipped hero has plus four attack. Activate. Give equipped hero and its allied neighbors plus X regeneration this round where X is half of its attack. That's not too bad. I'm just going to pick this up. 15 seconds right, remaining. Take it easy. Hold one. What does that do? Oh, we can hold it. it for one mana. We can hold it till next round. Five yeah, that's fine. Let's remaining. do that. Three. See, that's interesting. I, I didn't see. I haven't seen that before. Um, uh, put you here. And you here. And you can't actually pick where the guys go. They just kind of go wherever. See, like this says down into the left. What does that mean? What does the middle mean down into the left? Does that mean like? I don't know what that means. Like it's so the, the the arrows are not intuitive, unfortunately. Ravenous mass. Uh, a one one for four condemn. You can't run from the heavens. Well, that was fun. <laughs> I. Uh, all right, that was a thing, I guess. 
Deal four piercing damage to each enemy hero in all lanes. Jesus. All right, well. Condemn a ravenous mass. Is allied neighbors modify it with their attack and health. Okay, so I could like put it here. Fifteen seconds remaining. Yikes! I don't have any heroes in this lane, so I can't actually do anything. So. Not much we can do. Because we have no uh, black hero or green hero, we can't cast black or green spells in this lane. You are about to replace and destroy an item in the accessory slot. So, will that refresh its health? Fifteen seconds remaining. I don't know how that's going to work. So, well, that's awkward. Five yeah, seconds remaining. Three, okay. two, one. I mean, all right. Yep, that seems bad. Contreras plus eight health, so you would die, unfortunately. All oh, right. Oh my God, this is so pressured. Like, there's so much going on. I'm just like, five yep. seconds remaining. Three. Great. I'm just gonna pass here. A new toy to well, play with. So now, yeah, now we can deal you. <sighs> Great, you have a bounty on you, and we're not even gonna be able to kill you, unfortunately. Like we can give it plus two attack, but that's not gonna do it. We can no longer play these. It's pretty rough. 15 seconds remaining. Yep, just gonna pass here. Can't really do anything. March, march, march. What did they just play? March of the machines before action phase. If there are any, ch or are there, if there are charge charges on March of the machines, remove one and deal two damage to the enemy tower and two damage to each enemy. Wow. All right. Yeah, we're not, I don't feel like we're not doing great here by any metrics. Uh, well, we have exactly 19 now. Of course, this guy was a 9-7. Now it's probably going to be a 0-7, which is unfortunate. We also get one hero here. And, uh... uh not great.
See, like this, right here, down, and then this one goes down into the left? That doesn't even make any sense. There's no guy down and to the left. What does that mean? Well, I have a bunch of cards in my hand and a zero. Yeah, I can't do anything. Like, I literally can't do anything in this lane. What does silence do? Silence, you know, kind of uses active abilities or item active abilities. Interesting. Fifteen seconds remaining. Well, it's more like if you have no planeswalkers, you're you can't cast your creatures. Oh, fully heal. That's pretty good. Right, but I'm saying the tower is here. It's not down into the left. The tower would be straight ahead. Any other right? Like, not down into the left. That doesn't make any sense. I have nothing in this lane. <laughs> Like, what do you even do? Like, I can't deal with uh, two damage to all my guys every single turn. All right. This is such a weird, like, I don't know how I feel about this game, actually. It's funny, because I saw a bunch of Magic posts being like, this is, the, this is one of the best card games I've ever played. And I'm just like, is it though? Like, I'm not sure why they're letting me it's respond here. Gun. Like, I can't do anything. I can't play these on heroes. Can I play this on their hero? Is that why? No valid targets, no. I can't play anything. Like, I can play nothing in my hand. Okay. Like, it feels weird that they keep asking me to, to respond. Like, are, do I pass? And I'm like, yes, I, I pass because I have nothing to do. I have possible. like eight cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have nine cards in my hand and nothing to do. So I just have to keep hitting the pass button. It's really interesting. And I have no gold, because I wasn't unable to do anything. So, like, it feels like a game where, like, if you're far behind... Like, I was pretty far behind that turn, right? Like, I couldn't kill... If you kill a hero, for every for every minion you kill, you get three gold, I believe. For every creep you kill. Um, So, if you're unable to kill anything, you can't get anything for cards. So, it's just kind of like... The rich get richer, almost. Well, the cards I could have played earlier were like condemn all equipped items or modify a unit with plus three retaliate, which doesn't really do that much. So like, I mean, condemn a creep. Yeah, I can get rid of a creep, but like that just didn't seem great. So.
15 yeah, seconds I know. remaining. Jesus. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what to do. Five seconds All right. remaining. Okay. Three, two, one. All right, well, I'm one. not going to do anything. Like, Intimidation doesn't seem great. Move a unit to a random enemy into a random other lane. Like, that doesn't seem great. Silence a unit this round doesn't seem great. I mean, I'll silence this guy. It's it's either this guy or this guy, right? Like, we're basically dead this round. Yeah, I don't know what to make of this game. Ah, oh, their deck was called Upkeep Killer because they have a bunch of improvements, I guess, that come that that come down. All right, I'll play this mono red deck, and we'll give them the not the Upkeep Killer deck. We'll give them. Out of control. Man, I have no... Like, I don't know. Like, it's just... Eh. It just feels like there's so much going on. Which, maybe that's a good thing, but I don't know. There's so many things like to keep track of and to memorize. So we have three, we can cast dual choose an allied red hero and another unit, they battle each other. Nope. Modify a red hero and with after you play it's just hmm. Modify a red hero with after you play non item cards costing two or less, modify this hero less plus non item card costing two or less modifiers. You know what? Sure. They cannot stop me now. Like, I'm, I don't want to be negative, because the game seems like it has a lot going on, and, like, it seems like people are enjoying it, so I don't know if I'm missing something. Uh, X is equal to half its attack. So cleave... Th round it up, round it down. Wait, I don't... Okay. 15 okay. seconds well, remaining. That's a thing, I guess. Uh, I don't see Alandred Hero and another unit. They battle each other. So I, I, there's an Alandred Hero and another unit doesn't make sense to battle, so Five I guess I'll just attack. Remaining. Okay. You do need a good understanding of what is is it very good? Is that really the is that is that really what we're going with? Very good? I think it seems fine. I don't Legion Commander has plus two retaliate. I'm gonna And then we can do a thing. So we got three goldums. All right. I think it's for each enemy hero you defeat, you get three gold. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to buy anything here because I can't. I think the, I think the best point that's been made is uh, I was trying to win three lanes instead of just giving up one and taking the other two. Um, that being the case, I will play you here. I don't understand what the arrow's down like up and up in here. I don't get the arrows, man. No. 
Easy as pie. Yeah, super simple. Stunning unit blocking an allied red hero this round. Deal two damage to that. This is a unit. I'll shatter your bones. Nope. What does stun do? I don't know what stun does, though, so I have to, like... I can't... I just want to... Uh, stun unit is silence, cannot use anchor, and disarm, does not attack its target turn. Oh, that's great. Okay. I'm going to pass here, because I can't play anything else. That card seemed good. Is that just common? Modify right here with after you play a red card, give this hero and its allied neighbors plus one attack and plus one armor. After you play a red card, give this hero... I, I feel like I have to read everything twice, too. I don't know why. I don't feel like that's great here, though. Like, I put it on this guy, and I'm not going to have another red card to play until at least next turn. This guy will be dead. So, seconds I guess remaining. I'm just going to... And then there's no other guys. There's no other allied neighbors here, so... Uh, attack again. And now we have 10. Equipped heroes plus 8 attack. That's pretty nuts. Plus 4 health. Swap equipped hero with another ally. That actually seems very good. Uh, what do we think? Um, I'm not sure yet. 218. What is your ability? Ravage. Stun Titaners, enemy neighbors. This round, each other enemy has a 50% chance of being stunned. Wow, that's actually pretty strong. What is this Kraken shell? Is that just in your deck? <coughs> I guess so. Anyway. Um, this is a good one for us. This guy's going over here, I guess. So. 15 seconds right, remaining. It. Summon a Meepo. I don't know what that is. I d this doesn't show me what a Meepo is. This is a rare, though. Is this a Meepo? Okay. Well, that's a thing, I guess. Is it just a 2-5? Meepo has Soulbound. If Meepo dies, other allied Meepos in every lane also die. Why is that rare? What am I missing about that card? 15 seconds remaining. There's so many things I have to read. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here. Five seconds remaining. Okay, I'll Three. pass. I, I don't, I can't. I just can't. Are they four fives? You see me? Oh, I see. That's a thing. That rat thing is a Meepo. Okay. So, move me to an allied Meepo's lane. And deal two damage to the new enemy neighbor. That's friggin' ridiculous. Alright, makes sense why it's rare now. My flesh grows tenfold in strength. Give her a plus two armor this round. Sure. Ready to get up close and personal. Uh, phase boots plus four health. I can definitely use you. What are you taking ten from? Oh, because this guy here. I gotcha. Plus eight attack and negative eight armor. Um, swap equipped hero with another ally. I can actually swap these two. Can I do that immediately, or do I have to wait two turns before even using it? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Thank you. Is this another Meepo? Oh my god, Meepos, what up? Get out of here, dude.
Actually, plus eight, negative eight armor seems friggin' insane. Is that that's not enough though? Like it just puts him to ten, and then this guy. Oh, this guy's attacking too though. So actually, yeah, that would do it. My strength grows. How did he take like twenty though? That I don't understand. Plus two attack and pierce. We're gonna land here to the fountain. I'm not super thrilled about either of these. 15 seconds remaining. Equipped hero has plus two attack, modify stone of life, but the equipped hero has plus one attack after. Yeah, that's actually good. It's plus two attack and plus five siege. Five seconds remaining. They aren't. Three. All right, I get it. Two. Cause I'm a creep. Modify a red hero plus four attack. There's a lot of primal roars in my hand that I can't cast. What do you do? Centaur. So this is an act of uh, summon a loyal beast. Okay. The jungle protects its own. Look at that loyal beast. When loyal beast deals damage to a unit, modify that unit with negative one attack. Oh, how nice. That's an efficient way to kill my guy. Blood may now run. So you're gonna die, fo show. Condemn an improvement. I don't know what that what does this mean? A delay between effects of a spell or ability. Continuous effects are updated reactively as a process and units that have been What does that mean? That is not clear. Like, what can I even target with that? 15 seconds remaining. Michael, you got 15 seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Three. This is fine. Two, like, I don't want to use God's strength on this because it's not going to kill anything else. It's just going to deal more damage where I'd rather use it on here where I can trade with something else. Um, no valid targets. Okay, so... I don't know what I don't know specifically what an improvement is. Nope, I'd rather not. Oh, they already have phase boots. They just can't use them this turn, so I'll just pass again. I what it It battles its enemy neighbors. Yep, that's pretty good. <laughs> oh, improvements. Gotcha. Gotcha. They're enchantments, basically. I just forgot what they were. Okay. A lot of new terminology. That makes sense, then. Um... Hmm. Also, it's worth noting the modifiers stay on your guys even after they die, so that is something I forgot. That being the case, I'll just make this bigger. Stonehall must fall. I'm ready to fight. You are ready to fight. I guess we're just gonna I feel like we can swap these two. And then everything dies this turn. Eight gold, huh? Wow. Summon a Thunderhide pack. I don't know what that is. That is a 14-14 with Siege 6. It's pretty solid. It's pretty, pretty, pretty solid. Fifteen seconds remaining. It's going to pass here. Um, I'm gonna forget this lane, and I'm just gonna keep my eye on the other lanes. Hey. 
Someone explain it to me. I still don't understand the arrows. A lot of them are going down, and then some go down to the left, which doesn't make any sense to me. So if anyone can explain those, I would appreciate it. I even Googled it, and there was a Reddit post about it, but the Reddit post didn't even make any sense either. So I was just like, I don't know what's going on here. Um, I don't actually... Worth noting, what is this? Oh, sort of mana cost, sort of by color. Okay. Worth noting, I don't dislike the game. I'm just, I feel like there's a, it's a lot to take in. Yeah, someone else said they redirect the attacks, but it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, it doesn't make sense. What is down and to the left? Like, if this guy has an arrow that goes down and to the left, what does that mean? Seconds remaining. Uh, stun a unit blocking an allied red hero this round. Move that unit's allied neighbors to random Five other Five seconds lanes. remaining. Three. They face a true champion today. I'm gonna get screen capture up so I can try to fill you guys in on exactly what I'm referring to here. Why are they, like, no, I can't do anything. I have not, I don't have anything on this board. Yep, we're gonna take 17. Thank you. Sure. Modify right here with after you play non-item currency two or less. Modify this hero with plus one attack. Give her right here a plus four attack this round. Don't worry, you'll be dead soon enough. Seven, huh? Condemn and improve no improvements. Modify right here after you play a non-item card costing two or less. So I'll feast on my enemy. There's a reason Axe is the toughest. 29 gold. Uh, equipped heroes plus two attack. Get five gold after enemy hero dies. Get one gold after enemy creep dies. Yeah, that seems great. Fifteen seconds remaining. So this is the lane we're giving up, right? Probably. So... 512 can go here, you can go here. I'm pretty sure we're in good shape here. Okay, this is this should be an example of what I'm showing. It honors a champion. Okay, I think I just understood what you meant. But it's hard to keep track of that, I guess. I don't know. Like, so this means that this guy's gonna attack forward and this guy's gonna attack this if there's a guy there. But I feel like that hasn't always been the case, but maybe I'm wrong. I guess you guys can't see that actually because it's not screen captured either, so. 15 seconds uh, remaining. Starting to seven, yikes. Five seconds remaining. To the front of battle I stride. <laughs> no one can evade my blade. Best in the hands of a All right, well, we're just going to keep on... Uh, swamp equipped here with another hero. Yeah, I think this is actually fine. I think we're in good shape if we do this. I think you die. And we get like a bajillion gold. Your 
Legion's days are numbered. Modify allied heroes with plus... Okay, let's we'll see later. Plus four attack, plus four armor, plus four health, plus four cleave, plus four retaliate, and plus four siege. Seems good. Seems good. Well, there are no red heroes, so we can't do that. Oh, we have no heroes in this line, so we can't do anything. Remaining. That is something I keep forgetting, because it's it's weird to have a game where like you're unable to cast things if you don't have things. Like it's weird because you have mana restrictions and you have hero restrictions. You never should have raised my fire. She's not allowed to hear another unit, they battle each other. This seems pretty okay. Too easy. Now all our heroes live. My power like the tide. Country house plus two armor, here's an ally, and we have plus yeah, that's great. Plus two in siege, sure. I'm just gonna spend a bunch of gold because I feel like we can actually just win this turn. Uh I'm pretty positive we've are creeps are meeps heroes? Meepos? Are these this is a hero? That's crazy. I had no idea. I just thought that was a unit. I guess they're called units. I don't even know. Heroic Heroic Resolve. You see that? You see that? This is also a lane I'm not too concerned with because Well, we're not going to take down this tower. We're just going to kill the other. I think it's time to move along. <clears throat> yeah, I knew that. I just didn't know that it was a hero. I just thought it was a unit. Eh, might as well condemn this. Will not wade into battle unprepared. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I don't really have much else to do here. Like, I'm fine with whatever happens in this lane. I'm not gonna regret investing in me. This, this is a good line for us. Confused. There's no one to kill. Axis legend grows. Yep. Keep passing. Eric, thanks so much for the reset. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. I also still don't feel like the Twitch alerts are popping here. Which I don't know why. Uh, so we're dealing two here instead. I don't want you to attack that, unfortunately. Fifteen seconds All right. remaining. Take it easy. What? That didn't do anything, I guess. I guess that didn't do anything. I don't know. Not win this one yet. I'll show them something to fear. Fifteen 
15 seconds remaining. I get it. Look at all these creeps. Look at all these weirdos. Yeah, I don't care about this lane. Yeah, they're taking 13 here, and Siege is what, trample damage or... Uh when blocked during the combat, in addition to the battle damage, yeah, they deal 10 extra damage, so. They will fear me. Before they, I don't really want them to be able to kill this guy before the siege damage, so. One heart. Uh, actually, where we use that slot, unfortunately. I want to pass here. See what happens. I shall never find my equal in combat. I counter all attacks. Still dead, so I'll pass again. And that should be it. All right. You ever played Dragon Dice? The whole tower thing kind of... I have not, actually. Interesting. Interesting. All right, so those are two matches with uh, Artifact. I'm not sure how I feel about the game yet. I will probably give it uh, more tries moving forward, especially if I learn more of the cards. There's a lot to take in. It's a new card game, and there's a lot of uh, new mechanics, a lot of modifications, a lot of cards uh, that you need to learn. Also, there's a lot of mechanics, even heroes, items, uh, three towers, three lanes, moving lanes. It's like a lot of things going on in this game. I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think, though. I'd love to hear your opinions. Uh, you can leave those in the comments below. You can also check me out on Patreon and Twitch. Links are in the description below. MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore, as usual. 15% off, free shipping, free returns. Uh, it helps the stream. It helps you. Everybody wins. You need underwear anyway. Everybody knows that. But thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you guys next time.